Hello, everybody. This is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com. It's 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 13th of June. And what a day. Huge move up. Just looking at the three-minute chart here, the S&P 500 ETF. Uh, you already know from the pre-market and post-market data from yesterday, nice high base, continuation there, and then a completely unfilled gap, which we'll talk about. Tried a little bit right at the open and then resolved to an upside Right at resistance, higher lows, lower highs, and then a symmetrical triangle breakout right past our 160 mark. This resistance, once broken, became support. Series of lower swing highs, resolved to the downside because of the market internal confirmation was not quite there at the moment, and then uh, actually worked its way higher past swing high number one. Drop a beautiful line in there, and uh, this area of resistance then. Working its way up into the 110 area was the next logical spot of resistance on a higher time frame. You can see where that came from. So it's scrunched up by this 110 mark back here. Uh, very, very nice swing high after a good sell-off. 111 will be the next logical spot of resistance on the way up as we have fought through this so nicely. So fantastic test of that deep into earnings season already. So we'll have to be uh, careful with how those things are coming off. And you can see some of those uh, late-day trades here trying to get resolved uh, as the volume declines dramatically. So great run up to 110. Uh, taking a look at the trend, uh, very nice day as well. Huge uh, move down to an overbought situation actually. Resolved its way higher into the 0 0.5 range and instead of just consolidating there, it actually pulled back and uh, got even more bullish. So it was fantastic. Uh, this was the uh, sell-off we saw just briefly in the markets. And the trend queue, just you can't get better than this. Perfect gap up from being in outer space and lower highs and lower lows all day long, working their way into not even the overbought zone, but just so solidly bearish. So that is the quintessential picture of what I'd like to see. And if I could get the trend to match that while the trend queue is doing it, even better. The VIX was something I had uh, wanted to see resolved to the uh, downside. Let's scrunch this up a little bit. Never really did get what I wanted out of this, which was a resolution to uh, drop below 2340. Uh, two intraday swing lows through here, let alone the low at the open. So never did get that. In fact, we consolidated sideways in the VIX and even ran higher uh, toward the end of the day. A uh, good reason not to necessarily go tromping in long too much, too hard, too fast. And uh, would you have missed out on some of this move at late day? Uh, possibly, unless you had already entered it in here and hadn't gotten shaken out of the tree. Uh, but excellent not to enter too late, especially into a 110 mark. On a higher time frame, like a swing trade time frame, uh, that corroborates perfectly that 110 mark with the declining 50 MA. We had seen that before. We drew in all of our intraday resistances to fine tune this daily chart. And so another reason why not to just go again tromping in long too hard. Uh, beautiful unfilled gap, however. Uh, Multi-bar run up to the upside now. Uh, arguably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars in a row uh, with higher highs and higher lows. Kind of a nice rhyme. <laughs> and that's a much better than a 100% retracement, or excuse me, a 50% retracement of this last sell-off. So we have a much better chance of holding support and as a higher swing low, uh, but again, anything can happen. We still have the 50 to uh, beat through. We have the 111 mark, which coincides very nicely with the 200 MA. And all those make great resistance areas on the way up. On a weekly chart, just to resolve this out, we're also smashing our head into the 50 MA. When you get that kind of confirmation on two time frames, it's a great reason, again, why not to go jumping in long and probably why the VIX did not confirm uh, the late day rally there. So just word of warning after a nice multi-bar intraday and, uh, week, and uh, daily run-up, uh, the weekly is only showing two so far, and the week's not even over yet, of course. And if it closes right here, and that'd be a very strong finish to the week even. So good stuff, everybody. That's why I see is a beautiful run around the markets. Take this broad market information, apply it, get a great understanding of uh, relative strength and weakness of the stocks you're trading in right now, and apply that forward to your work. It's been great working with you today. Look forward to tomorrow and the rest of the week. Take care, everybody.